Roy's been playing with eagles all day, but now his attention is well and truly on making a meal of this evening, literally. We've got um, an event coming up on Sunday, uh, which is a, a kill it, cook it, eat it event, and uh, we need to uh, need to have a, a deer or a carcass for uh, butchery and for cooking for Sunday, so we need to uh, get our backsides out there and hopefully get a few deer in the larders. Do you know what's in the bag already? Sorry? What's in the bag already, do you know? Uh, we've got half a rabbit in the bag at the moment, but not a lot else. So we've, uh, yeah, we'd better hurry whilst we've still got the light and uh, make the most of it. He's after a fallow doe or two, but with light fading and pressure from Rob, the estate manager, to serve up something special, he has to pull out all the stops. He's brought along two fellow stalkers and he places them in some hot spots. They're coming in off the horse paddocks and coming back into here in the evening. Okay. So get yourself tucked up here somewhere. Any, and spe any special place? No, wherever you... There's a load of brambles just down there, yeah. so you should be able to tuck yourself up and keep an eye. He's got a John Deere Gator on loan. And so far, so good. It's really, really good. I've, uh, I've been very impressed with it. It's, I've been coping with, uh, with everything that I've put through it perfectly so far. We'll see how she does in Scotland on the mountains. Roy knows this estate like the back of his hand and takes us to the edge of a clearing at the bottom of the valley. Where we are here at the moment, we're on last light. And the deer all bed down in the thick cover of the wood, just through here. So just, just as the light is fading, they're just coming out and feeding back into the fields. They tend to be leaving it bright until the last light because we've obviously got a lot of pressure from dog walkers here. So they wait until everything's quiet down to the dog walkers and start to trickle through. So we've just got our fingers crossed that they come across before we lose the light. Just as we're about to give up, two does leave the cover of the wood and start feeding. Roy waits until he gets a clean shot. Relief all round, but he still has to retrieve it. Well, I mean, luckily it, uh, it worked the way we wanted it to. We couldn't have got it any, uh, any closer to, to losing the light there. And, uh, and just as we were losing the light, luckily the, uh, we had two does just, uh, just came out. Um, so they were probably, I don't know, 70, 80 yards away. And initially I couldn't take the shot because we, we didn't have a shot. She, was, uh, she had her head down and was feeding. And, um, just as uh, I was about to give up hope of the, uh, the light going, she presented us with a take-all shot and away she went. So It is a great relief, yes. It is, uh, otherwise we would have been very, very stuffed. We would have had to pop to Tesco's on Sunday to get a little bit of venison. <laughs> Once the granic is complete, we retrace our steps. The gator goes first and it seems to be far more sure-footed than Roy's friend. So, a good evening's work, and thankfully, there's a bit more than rabbit on the menu. This programme is back in two weeks' time. Next week, it's shooting politics. <laughs>